Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your mid monthly. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to look a healthy with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, I do have a mentorship available if you're interested in learning tarot. I've been reading cards since I've been 14 years old, so I have a lot to teach you guys. There's only a few available spots left, so if you guys are interested and you want to sign up, all my information is in the description box below. You can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Okay, so we're going to be looking at your love life first, then we're going to be looking at your career and finance and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help your situation. And if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to be my cancer's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my cancer's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for cancer's career and finance for now until the end of August. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here, Cancer. All right, so one of the things that actually just popped into my head, guys, the song that it popped into my head, it's like this person is questioning. It's like they're trying to be everything to you, but they don't understand why you don't have the same feelings for them. Okay, so the song is like, I am everything you want. I am everything you need. You know the song I'm talking about, guys? If you guys know the lyrics to that song, could you put it in the comments in the description box below? All right, I would really appreciate that. I'll pin your comment. Because when, uh, you know, Spirit has songs like that, it means there's a, there's a reason why. And sometimes you can get the full picture story in the comments or more or less in the, um, the lyrics of the song. So it does look like someone is trying to gain some kind of control, have some type of order to this situation. Okay, so, and we're seeing actually that the Queen of Cups is there showing me that there's this contemplation about emotions. Like, do I give my heart to this person? Do I not? The sign involved could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, or it could be another Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So we see a lot of this contemplation. And the reason is, is because of stuff that has happened from before. The stuff that has happened from before is why there's this questioning going on of like, what should I do here? I don't know what to do. So let's keep going here. What's gonna happen with my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Career and Finance. For now until the end of August, show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, you can see there's a person who is coming out as saying, I want to be there for you. I want to do stuff for you. I want to like hold the door open for you. I just want to do everything I can for you. Um, they're around you, this person, and they don't understand why you, they, they're feeling like you don't have the same kind of feelings for them as they have for you. So, what's going to have my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for now until the end of August. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Yeah, they're, they're keeping it to themselves. It's like hidden here with the deception card energy. Let's go further. And I hear a plane in the background. Some kind of travel, movement, change. All right, what's gonna happen my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards my Cancer's Career and Finance. For now until the end of August, show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. Okay, so let me just talk about the imagery I just saw. I saw like a pony, like a little pony. So ponies are horses, horses mean action. Uh, could represent some kind of symbol for this person. But obviously ponies are younger energy. Um, playful, some type of playful energy. Yeah, there's this new beginning, this fresh start, this new life. 
there is this sense of a uh, now this judgment card could be talking about an apology for you guys coming in uh, could be talking about somebody who is interested in reconciling and we see there's something about the situation at a house or home or family thing here um, it seems like this this chemistry this passion surrounds it and we see there's a healing energy and then what I heard was this person's a pain in the butt <laughs> okay this person's a pain in the butt okay all right let's keep going we see this um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy I really want to contemplate I need to get some kind of advice I'm trying to be patient here there is this massive shock and surprise because this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and the other thing that I felt when I was talking about this person being a pain in the butt it was like I almost had a pain in my head too so that's interesting it's like this person's like a pain in the butt and it seems like there's a person here that's causing some big massive shock and surprise we see there's a friendship here or friends involved or people involved and a decision that needs to be made here like I want to have a sense of fairness around this decision okay so we got this new beginning this fresh start we see this things that are being fixed resolved and a decision that's being made Justice could talk about just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. We see that there is someone who is not really saying everything, like they're keeping some stuff to themselves or some kind of deceptions here. And we see a lot of passion happening and we see a friendship, okay? And then I keep hearing the song, I am everything you want, I am everything you need. Okay, so let's keep going seems like there's some indecisions coming in with the two of swords energy there's some kind of wife commitment obligation and we see that there is this happiness surrounding you guys even though there's some indecisions a crossroads about what to do there is this happy energy coming in because someone is about to reveal their true feelings here with the truth being told so you're about to find out the truth because this this has been hidden okay and this person has been giving you some signs but I don't know if you guys are aware of it and we see that there is a want to fight and argue or there's some competition here about some kind of money and finance situation and it looks like you're gonna have to make a decision very soon because you're super surprised about this person opening up and sharing their feelings to you. You're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Now, with this person, maybe you work with this person, or something around money and finance went around this person, so I'll, I'll go further, don't worry. So we see there's this very giving energy, Six of Pentacles, and we see a love, a deep love here, heart card energy. And we see that you are the best decision for me. You are the wisest decision for me. I don't want to go anywhere. From my experience, you're the best decision for me. And you really make me happy, Cancer. And I'm hopeful. And so this is really going to take you by surprise here, guys. It's coming up soon, too. Because we see that there is this new life, this new beginning. But we see that there were some things here that obviously has got you in a place of contemplation about your emotions because stuff that's happened. And there also could be a situation where this person is trying to apologize, this person that you dealt with before, to fix the situation, and you're going to have to make a decision. But we see that this person here, this new life, this new situation, this person is opening up. And they're saying, I love you. And they're taking off the mask and they're they're revealing themselves and you're surprised about this and there's so much potential here for this this situation for a lot of happiness okay so let's keep going so we see this family this long term this money situation ten of pentacles you're getting some kind of letter message document paperwork and you're being patient for things to come into balance 
and you're starting to see these massive changes in your romantic love life. Things are aligning for you guys. Luck is on your side. It's going to be a lucky time for you towards the end of the month. There is someone who is interested in loyalty and devotion. And we see a relationship happening here. And it's like, you're like, I can take a rest. I can take a break. I need to think about this. This is a real big change for me. I need to think about this. It's a real big change for me. And we see seven of swords. It's like, how do I tell them this? You know, I don't know if I should keep this to myself. Because this is a big surprise for me. And it's a massive shock and surprise tower card energy. And I need to think about this. So... Yeah, you weren't expecting this person to kind of show their, their emotions, to reveal themselves to you about this, their, their deep love for you. And you are really just in a place of shock here, okay, about this whole uh, reveal that's going to happen. So we see this new situation. I want to talk to you about, tell you the truth about my feelings, a massive change for you guys. There's still this healing energy. It's a big surprise. Thinking about this decision, there is a lot of happiness here for you guys. And moving towards your fulfillment of your wishes here but we see that there is a lot of thinking and needing to take a break because it's just you're a little bit overwhelmed you're just like okay this is going a bit fast um i need to slow down a little bit <laughs> and just take it all in and again i hear a train travel movement train so we heard a plane now we're hearing a train okay so let's let's keep going here so I wasn't being honest with you about my happiness and wanting a happy outcome. I want to bring things into to balance. There's strong chemistry and passion and I really want you to make a decision about this relationship and I want to be more than just friends. I know you're the best decision for me and you're massively shocked and surprised. Okay, so, so they're confessing their love to you, okay? There's a confession going on here. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. There's a cautiousness here. But a very happy energy coming in and someone's making a power move towards you, asserting themselves. But you're having this sense of confusion. We see single and available to pursue. We see uh, this communications coming in. We see conversation and letter, message, document, paperwork, and it's something about a commitment. And we see that there, you're at a crossroads because you just don't know about this opportunity. You just have some unknowns. It looks like some of you may be even getting some advice from someone. So we see this person is trying to be helpful and there's this obligation, this commitment, this letter, message, document, paper. We see it at this house, this real estate, this family situation. We see this money and finance and loyalty and devotion. There's a massive shock and surprise for you guys when it comes to love and a big surprise. So this is going to be a big surprise, a big reveal for you guys about love. Okay? So we can see here potential signs involved in the situation. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So you can see here, I really need to be patient, I need to figure out my emotions. I'm at a crossroads because of money, this family, this uh, long-term situation. I want to apologize about this argument, this fight. The timing is right. Um, we see, I need to contemplate what I'm gonna do in the long term, but I want to give to this situation when it comes to these, this lying, this deception, or something that I've been keeping from you. Seven of Swords energy. So you're gonna, re you're gonna, re you're going to find out some stuff that was hidden from you, kept from you, okay, about this person's feelings. Okay, so can I have some advice for my cancers when it comes to the romantic love life, their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them for now until the end of August? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so it definitely is showing me if you guys are still dealing with past things, it is a good time to um, heal that. It is telling me to give yourself some time to just soul search and figure it all out. Because you're having this uncertainty within yourself and you need clarity. There is somebody who is missing you. We see that there's some unresolved things from the past. And uh, they're saying that if this is where you want to go, this direction with this person from the past, they're saying that don't lose hope, that it's still hopeful. That you are about to find out some things about this person who's going to assert themselves, but you don't have to rush into anything, okay? We see this friendship, and 
a very happy outcome or you're going to be very happy about this, but you don't have to overthink this, okay? Because it is not, it's, it's, it's not important. You don't have to rush into anything. You don't have to, to move forward. You need to give yourself some time. If you're not ready to move into another situation, then of course, you shouldn't rush into anything. And also, if you still feel like you're attached to this person from before, then there's still some things that can be resolved around that situation if that's what you truly want. And it's saying not to lose hope about that. But if you're ready to truly move on from that person, I would say first, before even moving on to a new person, it's just, it's a good time to just heal and give yourself some time to like kind of resolve these things within yourself. However, I'm only here as guidance, guys, so you do what you feel is best for you, okay? You guys have free will. Listen to your heart, pay attention to your intuition, you know what's best for you. All right, let's move into your romance, um, your career in finance. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Speaking of which, the devil card is coming out. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. So you got some new ideas, new understanding of a situation, and there's been some procrastination, some uh, some issues here around a, a communication or something you want it to move faster on, okay, with the Eight of Wands energy being there. It's like you want to put your energy behind this, but there's some kind of issues or procrastination or thinking going on when it comes to this new idea. This new, they're trying to think outside of the box. How do I get things to move here? Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, you're trying to fix something. Um, it does look like you are getting recognition, attention, acknowledgement, and that's giving big changes here in your career in finance. It's like you're like, I'm ready to go for this, right? I'm ready to go for this. And we see there's the public people socializing a conference here and it looks like you're you're mending a connection with somebody you're fixing a situation with someone here okay so we got this going further here this air of mystery um this air of mystery or something that's an unknown for you yeah you're getting some kind of spiritual signs you're trying to listen to your gut here about this situation you're like yeah okay what's going on here it, I got this cell at foundation. I've really built something here. But I'm ready to look into new things. I'm ready to follow my creativity. I want to have a sense of adventure here. And you know what? I, I really want to do this because I'm really sad about this situation. And I'm ready to just, I want to just walk away. You know, I'm tired of dealing with this. I just want to walk away. I know I built this solid foundation, but I, I just want to do something new. I want to do something more exciting. I want to have more of a sense of adventure. And you're getting clarity and answers here with the Ace of Swords energy. Because you're in a sense of despair about this situation. And you're like, I just want to give to the situation. I want to make sure there's an equal give and take, right? So you've, you've come to the edge and, and when it comes to these people, this work environment or the people around you, you're, you're mending, you're fixing this and you're like, all right, you know, we have a solid foundation. I build something here, but I just, I just want to walk away from this. You know, it's, it's, it's put together now and I, I can walk away. I can go explore other things. I can have a sense of adventure. I've given to this. But you're being patient for things to come into balance with the temperance card energy. And you're getting a little bit trapped in your thoughts here. You're getting a lot of recognition, a lot of attention for what you've done. And you're like, but I'm putting a lot of effort. I'm, you know, I'm working on this. I'm paying attention to the details here. And by the end of the month, you're in a happy place, joyful place. Seems like you're collaborating with others. We got three people here. But you're still kind of ready to move forward here into another situation. You're, you're still kind of working through two different worlds here. And so you decide by the end of the month to speak a truth. Because you feel like a lot of self-doubt or like there's concerns about some kind of competition or infringing party. And you're like, I'm ready to follow my heart. I'm going to go for this opportunity that I truly love. So it looks like you guys you guys have built something here. Some of you guys have built a business. You've built something or you've, you've built something up in a company. And, uh, you know, and it's a lot of people involved with this. And you feel like, you know, I put my time in here and I, I have this new idea. I, I want to have a sense of an adventure. I want to I want to move forward. And yes, I've got my recognition and all those kinds of things. But I really want to do something that's true to my heart. OK, that's where I feel like you guys are. It's like a lot of reevaluating going on here.
Okay, so we see you're resolving some things, you're listening to your intuition, you feel like your hands are tied, but you're getting attention, you feel sad about this, but very joyful about needing some changes because you're there's a sense of desperation, you're having a lot of self-doubt or you're concerned about some kind of competition. So maybe why you're also hanging on is because you're trying to help out because of concerns of competition or you know, uh, something you feel is an issue there that you have to help out with. So we see this procrastination, this strong desire to follow your intuition and to be patient for things to come into balance. We, we see you want to put energy into like having a sense of in, a, adventure, exploring some things here. Maybe even learning something there with the Eight of Pentacles energy. You have these new ideas, you're thinking outside of the box, you get some kind of clarity and you're ready to speak your truth about this. You're looking to the past here and you're like, I'm fulfilling my desires here, but I'm confused about what to do. And I want to take actions towards things I love and I'm going to defend my position around this because I want to, some of you guys may want to travel. Some of you guys feel very accomplished and you're like, I've, I've been working on this situation and I don't want to miss my opportunity here because I, I feel like there's some huge potential here and I just want to commit myself to this and make the wisest decision when it comes to something I truly love. King of Cups energy. Okay, so, so you guys are feeling highly emotional about this. So let's get you guys some advice about this career in finance. What should you do? So what should Cancer do when it comes to their career in finance for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Now until the end of August, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. It's saying if you're, if you're driven, you'll be fully supported in what you want to do. Okay, like, look, the only criticism you need to worry about is from yourself. If you're not doing what you love, you're not following your heart, then it doesn't matter, right? Because what's the pizza? The pizza's looking at itself like, oh, I'm criticizing myself about this. Give yourself space here and follow your inspiration. And again, we're talking about, there's concern about this criticism here, but you have your own unique voice. Fight this. Yes, there's a, a sense of, you know, uh, backup plan, teamwork, but you have more power than you realize when it comes to the situation here, Cancer, to follow your passions. And you got choices in front of you, and you got to do what's best for you, and you got to trust in this process and, and have enjoyment here. Because um, maybe it is time for you to take a walk right and just get started on what you wanted to get started on and stay optimistic about this because you got these great ideas you know you got these wonderful great ideas that you should honor I would say I know what spirit is saying but honestly um, I always feel like it's better because I, I did this myself when I went through my spiritual awakening I was like an, uh, an accountant studying for my CPA going to graduate school all that and then I had my spiritual weekend and I just was like, okay, well, this is what I'm supposed to do. And I jumped off, right? But I always feel like when it comes to these kinds of things, if you really feel truly passionate about it, you could always do two different things at once, right? You could work that situation and have your stable situation, but then follow those things in your part-time. And eventually that part-time thing will turn into your full-time thing. However, you guys have to do what's best for you. So if you have that ability to be able to do that for some of you guys, then go for it. If you have that financial stability to be able to just to follow your dreams, then, then maybe it is time. But for others of you, you know, maybe another solution could be to moonlight, kind of do something that you want to do on the side until that can become your full-time thing, okay? So that would be my advice. And of course, you guys have free will. You do what you feel is best for you. All right, so let's take a look at what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to look at help you. All right, what does Cancer need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that could help them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so they're saying that there's an ending of a cycle of manipulation and unkindness of this unconscious level. Their spiritual assistance is offering you now from a place 
of loving respect and kindness and great spiritual power. There's blessings coming in for you. Because of Mother's mercy, who watches over with an attentive love and cares for your spiritual progress. So they're saying there's some stuff that's happening in your life that you've been dealing with some things that haven't been good, like manipulation and kindness from a, an area in your life. And um, it looks like the divine's gonna intervene for you because they want you to progress further and focus on love and caring in your spiritual progress. So let's keep going. It's saying that there's gonna be some healing transformational change coming in and blessings now. You are asked to remember that the light can come from even the darkest beginnings, that spring only ever comes after winter, that the challenges can be to trust that winter will end and employing the unknown parts of yourself will result in self-discovery and a healing rebirth for you. So yes, you've gone through a lot and there's still some things left on your journey, but through these things you're gonna learn, it's going to help make you stronger and you will learn a lot and you will progress further. There's going to be some big changes, profound changes, but this may seem like it's difficult at first, but it's going to be a blessing in disguise, okay? So you'll find out, you'll, you'll see this after the fact. So there's gonna be some really big blessings, big changes coming in for your life because there's some situations where you're dealing with right now that aren't serving you anymore. And, and, and so these changes are gonna happen for your highest best good, okay? So it can, you can be in a happy, better place. So my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I do read my comments, so if you wanna claim this message, you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. And I just put up the singles reads for the next three months, so if you guys are interested in watching that, um, it's all up and above if you guys watch right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.